And unfortunately, I have to pass this over. So no, I'm not playing first. But we are in the last game. How you feeling? Actually, pretty good. So like, I was, it took me a second. I was analyzing this hand. Okay. So we have a six drop, a five drop, a two drop, three drop, and a one drop. All of them are good. I just need to find a way to kill myself a little bit faster. Um, I guess actually, yeah, it's fine. We can keep it. So we have a fetch land and a shock land and a street wraith. Okay. So that's three, five. That's exactly seven. So I just have to find something in between there. So we'll keep it. This hand is really sketchy. It's a one lander with two chalices. So I'm gonna mulligan it. It also has the battle sphere. So it's basically a mobile five. Um, nice. I mean, we could just play the chalice, chalice for zero, on. And then play Mox Opal on turn one, and then play Acre Wellspring on turn one. Um, but then your hand's not good. Yeah, <laughs> but, then, but then I, I had the Ironworks and the Battle Sphere, so it's actually a consider it's consideration. And I'm on the you, draw. You just want the ley line. I understand. But, yeah, like I'm on a mulligan. Like if this is a turn one hand, like a turn a uh, game one hand, I actually might keep it on the draw. Uh, but I'm. I think you have, you have more incentivized to go to uh, six with the possible ley line draw. True. Yes. So I'm gonna mulligan, and this hand is. Really bad, actually. Um, Sick. We need a lands or more one drops. So we have the ley line, but it, ley line is not just like an end all be all in this matchup. Right, because I can just attack the five fives. Right. Uh, we don't have two lands. We have two mox opals. So it's basically another mole. We do have the ironworks, though. But. Uh, we only have the one land again, which is the one part. Like, if I had two land, I would definitely keep this hand because I have a wellspring as well. You would so, snap it off, right? So Yeah, I would snap it off. But I'm going to mulligan to five. And this hand is the best we're going to get. So we're going to keep. And, oh, that's perfect. The land on top? Yes, please. So top that. Put land in. Oh, I can't even thought scout him. And we're going to... So we actually have a land on top. So this hand's actually pretty good for five. I think I'm going to cycle now anyway. Well, now we know that card is useless. Um, God bless Nihil Spellbomb. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So we're going to play this Inventor's Fair and play this Sphere. I like leading with the Inventor's Fair over this other land. Because uh, if we get a better land to play on turn two, which I don't think we're going to, but we can play that, that land on turn two instead of this one. Ooh. No, I don't think it's so worth it. Okay. Just going to shock ourselves. Like, we could ask for more than a mold of five with this. Like, we couldn't ask for more of a five with this deck. Like, this deck, this five is very good. Um, because we're gonna play a chalice on one. Which chalice? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got scared a little. Not that other chalice. And then we're gonna crack for green. Thank God. And we're gonna ancient stirrings. And we're gonna grab a sphere. A star here. Tilt. So, and then we're going to put it in any order. We could grab the star or the terrarian, but we would definitely... There's also that land we could have grabbed. Um, I don't think we need it, though, like, because we're already at three. And... So now we find a way to deal some damage to ourselves. All right. So you are going to take the sphere, which is actually pretty good. You could look at my hand, too. Okay, well, knowing that's what he has in his hand... Okay. My we're hand's actually little, not bad. It's just we're going to get a little aggressive here. My hand's not good, but it's not bad. You're going to surgical the Ancient Stirrings? Just to that, get another Ancient Stirrings? Knowing that you have one in your hand, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. If you didn't have one in your hand, I probably wouldn't have. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's, just, it's basically like the, the only discard you can use right now because of Ley Line. But, I mean, still next turn's good for me. Like, I get the Wellsprings and the Star, which is not bad. With any of my, and I also get a draw step, so. So this is a little bit weird, but we're going to play like this. Okay. Without this leaving the stubborn up. Well, we know your hand. I don't really care too much what you could cast. Right. And we have this that we could use on ourselves. 
All right, so that's a good draw. Uh, we are going to play the Welsh Spring here. Yep. First. Sounds good. Uh, and then we drew pretty well here. Um, if 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 you don't kill us this turn, I think I'm I will beat you next turn. Do you? Uh, possibly. It depends if I draw land. Like that's huge to that part. Right, we're gonna do that. Next turn you beat me. So you have a you have a double strike. Well, pretty pretty close to it. All so right. if I draw draw a land. So we need to sneak a guard clan right now. We did not. I only have one more turn, Max. Get rid of this spell bomb. Yep. You have Colgun's command and Tasker. So you get to play Tasker. You get to attack for eleven and then play Tasker. So I am dead next turn. Uh I may be able to win next turn, depending on what I draw. There's no reason to bluff since you know my hand. Yeah, so you should just play Tasker. It's also a, it also guarantees the next turn win. If you have any way of like Yeah. I don't know. There's a trawler, which is not good in this situation, so I'm glad it's in there. And... Uh, is there any way to survive this turn? Well, we crack first for a green. There's no ancient strings. Yeah, I know. Because you still crack for a green. And we're going to draw here. This is where siding in the... Oh, this version didn't have Angel's Grace. I was like, the other version I was playing had Angel's Grace. Uh, man, so we lost. Um, it was actually really Sick. close, though. Yeah, it was, actually. It was closer than I thought it would be. Yeah. Like, this is a really good mold of five. This, this deck does not mulligan well. And this is a good mold of five. So, we're dead. Uh, let's let's see what the top card was. <laughs> yeah. So if I had drawn that instead, I would have just won. No, well, you didn't. Wow. That is that was super sick though. Wow. You gonna let me cycle, bro? No, we're dead. We're good. Man, that is that's crazy. Yeah, it was decent. We, we were one away from just winning. But now we get to play Moment next turn, next round, or next I week. I think so. I think this is one of the hardest matchups. Uh, and we'll talk about it more in the wrap up. But like this game, for instance, I multi the five and almost won. Yeah, you did though. With, get wrecked, nerd. With it, with a ley line as one of my five cards. Eh, I mean, that line was good because I had a thought season that I couldn't use. True. True. Uh, but it, so like it was a good vibe. I mean, we had the ancient starting. The getting double surgical is probably what killed us here. Like to be honest, that ancient well, it, was, it just enabled the, the death shadows. Enabled the death shadows, and it also made it so I couldn't just ancient starting into the next piece and win. Right, because if you let's say you ancient starting and you win the game, because you actually see it, then you find it. Yeah, the thing is that the death shadow deck has the aggro, the aggressive elements with uh, wh while being super interactive. Yeah, it's more interactive than the Jun version. Like, the mm -hmm. Jun just strips your hand, and then you just Jun kill. version is really e easy for me to beat. Well, it's more based on aggro, so... But, like, yeah. this one has Stubborn and I all has, like, access to Snapcaster and Thorntees, and, like... So they may play more actual discard, but you play more because you have four snaps and Colgan's command again back. Right. So, while the, this X deck right now is not the best deck against Death Shadow to X, it is the best deck against the other decks that beat Death Shadow. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. So, all right, that was that was the game, and we'll see you next week for Zach's choosing. It's still the trend. Yeah, so far it's been. I mean, that was the, that was the closest of our matches, I think, so far. I was drawing a lightning bolt. How do you win? I was drawing a prism into battle sphere. But my street wraith was on the stack, and you killed it for me. You're right. You're right. So we will see you in the wrap up. And welcome to the wrap up of Z squared versus. Those were close. Definitely a lot better than I thought. Yeah, like a mold of five got like even actually actually had a game still. That was that was surprising. Um, like winning with Battlesphere game one, you having like the double surgical that game was huge. Like the game was like there were a lot of things that were swinging in this in these games. 
Um, I, you know, I have a lot of the subliminals game two to win the game. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think you're definitely playing the best version of Grix of uh, Shadow. I think the best version is the Grixis version. I think it's hard to say because I think the better version is like the Jun with Ling Ling Souls because it's better in the mirror. Oh and sure. That, and I think that's what like is why that makes it the best Grix like best Death Shadow deck overall. Right. I think, but this one's better against the meta afterwards, though. Right, like yours is better against the meta afterwards. That one's probably because like everyone's trying to hate him out with like yeah. fatal push, and mm -hmm. then you're just playing these six drop five fives that just kill him anyways. Right. My deck is also very good against the meta that beats Death Shadow. Like all like the removal heavy decks, just like escape the escape shifts and stuff yeah. like that. The... At, like the the slow combo decks that are control control combo. Um, it has a decent matchup against Storm. Not amazing, but decent. It, I'm kind of curious about your Grixis uh, control deck, though. How do I beat Grixis control? I think, I, like, that's the only thing I'll be curious about. Uh, normally, you just get under it. It's kind of yeah. hard when they're playing like as many negates and cold against commands. And it's, a it's a little rough. It's a little rough. Glitness Crane is huge in that matchup. I'm sure, yeah. It's a cantrip that like chips yeah. away, too, and stuff yeah. like that. Also, just hard casting Battle Spheres gets there. Um, <laughs> No, like it actually does. I know, and, I know. It and you can almost me, know. you can hard cast you can hard cast Emrakul actually with the with the deck. So when you get to ten mana, you then play a Chalice on five, and then yeah. you play Emrakul the next turn, which is actually just insane. Uh, so like you have some game. You also get the ley lines after the sideboard in that matchup. Um, it's and the one matchup I really don't like with this deck is Burn. Uh, it's really bad. Yeah, I don't think you're fast enough against them because you can't really beat Eidolon. Right. Easy. I mean, the Eidolon's the problem, so I had to bring in a four ley line and three battle to bridges. And like, yeah, like that's good, but like that doesn't actually help you too much. I mean, battle to bridges kills Eidolon and ley line like protects me. Um, yeah, but like a lot of times they play a lot. Like it depends on what the build is, and like if you don't have like let's say you you crane, but you said you probably take those out. But like, yeah. but let's say you ancient servings, right? And then you just like bottom a bridge or two. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. It's, then it's then, then you're rough. just dead. Right? The, the deck has enough redundancy that you can usually find at least one of the hate pieces. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes it's not enough. Like those those matches are always tight. I really like these two decks though. Uh, these are. I'm not really playing a ton of modern right now. I'm playing some of this deck. But if I were to play more modern, I would play this deck. Or and if I were to pick up any other deck, it would probably be Grixis Shadow. Um, yeah, like the deck seems like it's like it's actually very hard because like. You're playing with like two different type of life, like re like resources. Yeah. Like you have your graveyard as your main one, then you have your life, and it's like it's so hard to like suicide yourself against a format that does play like a lot of lightning bolts in general. Mm -hmm. So like managing that, like there's been many times I just go go down to like eight, and then then just stop trying to deal damage because I still have two five fives out in right. in, uh, in Death Shadow itself. And that's like the fine. Other, and the other five fives and four fives. So. But yeah, I'm just saying, like, with Death, Death Shadow is fine as a five five, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it gets around all the damage spells and all that, so. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a really interesting deck. I really like it. Um, and uh, that was a really sweet uh, versus. And uh, I look forward to next week when we're going to do something unconventional. Uh, and, yeah, I, fi uh, I figured like, we've been doing a lot of, like, the streamlining stuff, so we can have some fun. Yeah, yes. Maybe, um, maybe if you guys want to post in the comments if you prefer. Like which which format you would prefer? Uh, what were the options, Zach? Uh, either Momir, like mm -hmm. probably like two games of Momir, which is like straight variance, and that's why we could try to break the curse of whoever picks wins. Yeah. Or okay. we could do some Frontier, because I've never played it, but like the format looks sweet, and it's you can do it on Moto easily. Definitely has died a little bit, but it is still a really cool format. There's a lot of cool cards that have not joined the format since I played last, and yeah. I would love to do that. So if you guys want to put in the comments. Or message us pri uh, privately and tell us which one you would prefer. Um, and uh, that we would definitely bring that to you. So thanks for viewing. And join us back next time. I'm Zane. I'm Zach. And join us back next time on Z Squared Versus.